You know, when I first got this idea of taking this sign out and trying to get people to share their stories of why they run or do any activity, I didn't know where this was going to go. I had some amazing conversations. I had lots of people who didn't really want to be on camera come share some stories with me. And then there were the few that didn't mind the camera and happily spoke to me about their journeys. Now, the most recent conversation they had was with a man called Jan. And Jan's story blew me away so much because he literally was blown away. See, as a young man, Jan served in the army and he got shot. And the doctor said that he'll never walk again. And so this is the story of Jan and how running saved his life. Uh, it's a public holiday. It's Heritage Day today. And um, there were quite a lot of runners further down when I was driving up here. And, but not so many here. Morning. Everyone's got a story. Let's share your stories of encouragement. I'd love to get your story. I've got a story you want to hear. Please. Yeah, thank you, man. What's your name? I'm Jan. Jan. Hi, Jan. I'm Richard. Hi, Richard. There. Yeah. Um, so, 1992, I went to army. And I don't know if you can see it on your, on your camera. My legs. Oh, wow. I was shot up. My arms were shot up. And I couldn't... Uh, they told me I'd never run again. And uh, I wouldn't say running saved my life. I believe Jesus saved my life. Yeah. But he gave me the courage to carry on and to keep on running and keep on playing and keep on doing stuff. So after my accident, the, the army told me that the back then first mili military army uh, base, uh, uh, that's where I ended up in the hospital over there. And they told me I'd never walk again and I'd never be able to play sports again. Now, after that, I played more than a hundred rugby matches. Wow. I played for Natal B. I played for the Free State. Yeah. I've run a marathon more than one. I've run the two oceans twice. No. Nice. And I've uh, done the half Ironman twice. So I think everything is possible. So you're like and a living testament to, uh, they can't keep you down. They can't keep me. I think to more than God's grace and then, the ability to try and carry on. And the way that comes in is when you keep on trying, this happens. And running saves your life. Yeah. Nice thank talking you. to you, guys. Thank you so much for yeah, sharing your story. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, what an amazing story. Jan talking about getting shot. I mean, that I just can't imagine what that's like. And now that he's got like a living testament story about not giving up and persisting and pursuing it. It's amazing. I thought it was going to be a slow morning. What a story. Now, <laughs> Jan just looks incredibly happy. And I've seen that time and time again of all the people that I've been speaking to. Is their happiness level just seems to be so infectious. They just have this natural smile that they are just like nothing's really going to get them down. Now, I'm sure they do have down days like we all do. They're human. But something's different here. Something in the human spirit is fighting against any sort of negativity. You take people like Kombi, who just is high on life and she runs because she doesn't need any medication anymore. Or you look at Gavin, Gavin had an amazing smile, an amazing story. And even Spencer, with just how they're thinking about life and how that the stories are not just about them, it's about more than them, it's about the communities they form. Now, Jan's story was especially interesting to me because even though it's amazing how he came back from being shot, but it's what he went on to do after that, which really inspired me, says, in spite of being shot. So take the rugby that he's played. He played for a team. He played for Natal for many years of his life. He went on to do Ironman competitions. He went on to do Two Oceans Marathon. He's gone on to do many more trails. And I'm sure he'll continue to go on to do many more things with his life. He did not let one event hold him back. He did not let that one event define him. He did not let that one event tell him what the rest of his life will be like. Jan stood up and made a difference. And while he attributes uh, his 
um, success and his growth uh, to his spiritual foundation, it does give some a tiny little bit to running. And running saves your life. So to Jan and to everyone else that has been brave enough to come on camera and share the stories, I'm really grateful and I'm thankful for you for trusting me with my little camera and the stories that we share and those sweet little moments of how you've changed your life. I hope the story find some inspiration for you and that if you are looking for some answers for something of like how to get started let me know in the comments and you've never seen me before my name is Richard and I do conversations about motivation about running journey filmmaking and I'm hoping that you've got some value out of this video and this story today anyway I wish you well my name is Richard and this has been Richard Talks